Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today we have a Roll the Dice. Uh, this one came in during this week. It's now the weekend so I get a chance to open it. Um, this is where I get to tell you how much I threw at it and you get to decide and possibly tell me in the comments if I wasted my money. Uh, what can I tell you about this? Um, it's from Mount Annan, New South Wales, on the other side of the country. And before we open it, I'll show you um, what I have in my collection relevant to what I believe is in this box. Um, it's always what I believe is in this box because um, communication um, the criteria for Roll the Dice videos is communication bad, photos worse, um, and it's really just potluck, really just rolling the dice um, as to whether I get a bargain or not. Uh, bargains are relative in this hobby, aren't they? Um, one specific casting I think is in this box is more than relevant to my collection and I'll explain why as we go. But for now, I'll adjust the camera, get the box out of your face, and um, I'll show you what I mean about my collection so far. Right, today is all about the Datsun, or Nissan. Uh, Nissan took over Datsun, ooh, I don't know, early 80s, not sure. Um, this one's the Nissan 300 ZX made in Macau with uh, not a very good reason to have an opening bonnet looking at that engine uh, would have preferred the opening doors but it's got suspension it's got those very 80s wheels turbo on the side because turbos were uh, new in this price range in the real car But nice suspension. Uh, before that was Datsun, the 280ZX with opening doors, five arch wheels. The doors are always hit and miss of this era. Um, I don't like to open and close them too much. I always do when I first get them and. That's usually about it, but I'll open and close these all day long for this video because I have another point to make. Um, before those was the Hong Kong issue Savannah RX-7 with the two small wheels. Nice. Slam and click. Not great interior. That one there. Again, decent suspension. And then before those, the Datsun 260Z. Some will know this as the Fair Lady. Humongous doors. Now, part of the reason why this box beside me is a roll the dice is because uh, supposedly the boxes were sealed except for one and I think they meant the one that was not sealed was the version of this in that box and they were concerned about the dodgy tampos but this was the early 80s and all tampos were dodgy <laughs> um, so they need not have bothered um, and that's the dot dash wheels uh, made in England. So the reason I brought up the doors was um, this is the same casting in Magenta. Um, when I when I got this one, probably three years ago, I suppose, I did the usual open and close doors as if I was conducting a warrant of fitness, um, and opened the driver's door and it opened fine, but did not close fine. 
and then now it just sort of hangs slackly open but um, it was never for resale I, I quite like this color I quite like this casting and uh, dodgy doors or not it's welcome in my collection if you put it like that and don't open the door you're fine so that's the sum total of my Datsuns or Nissans of this era. So I'll cut to the chase, turn the camera off briefly and uh, rearrange things and we'll open this box. Here we go. So as I said this was from New South Wales. Um, bought online and the price including the $12.50 postage was 80 Australian dollars as I said earlier they were not great photos the story about the one unsealed box to investigate dodgy tampos didn't help the sale but we'll see what we have Okay, there is the unsealed box and already I've spied a door that hangs slackly. So let's have a look. That one opens okay. And yeah, driver, driver's door is a familiar problem. Perhaps fixable, but I don't know how. And yeah, look at those tempos. Strictly speaking, there is nothing wrong with them apart from they just didn't ever do a good job in that era for Matchbox. There's no playware, really. No. So put him there and a seal box. See if there's any difference with mine. Yeah, it's got different wheels. So this has got the what I call eight dot wheels or eight spoke wheels. I'd, I'd prefer eight dot. I've heard both, but whatever. Um, and very clean box. And it's got the five arch wheels. I used to say to my wife when these started to stream in, or cars in general started to stream in, I'd look for a difference and just go, justified. But I don't bother with that anymore. You can't justify the amount uh, I spent on this hobby. So that's good. Uh, I'll put him in the background. Um, and what have we here? A double. Yes, we have a double, but again, box is pretty good. A little bit of yellowing on the window. Nothing serious. Hole is not punched. Um, it's an 81, so 82 release. Not bad for its age, is it? So one can stand the box and one is already loose. Next up. Got a couple of this one now. Never been a huge fan of it. Um, they just kind of pop in with other things. It's the uh, number seven IMSA Mazda. Uh, yeah, same year, 1982 release. Um, and we've got a double here. But this is new to my set. I've just spotted the one I actually bought the whole box for. But we've got a couple of these, so I'll open up the least perfect box so I can quickly identify it. They're both pretty good, actually. 
Let's go for this one. So after just a couple of years, 1982, or is that 39 years? Surely not. Let's have a look. And there it is. Amber windows, five arch wheels. It's the Mazda RX-7 from 1982. Stay in the box. Good to have a double. And second to last, I have this one, but mine is very sun damaged. Mm. Never know, do you? Is that the casting sun damaged or just the window? I'll have to get it out and have a look, I think. This should be the same year. Yep. So. Plastic base Toyota Supra number 41. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. So the window itself bore the brunt of the UV. It's a tiny amount of yellowing there, but I'm not sure if that's UV. Toyota, or as it's pronounced in Australia, Toyota number 41. Yeah, it's good to have that in that condition. Sweet. And then the one I actually bought the whole lot for is this one. Reason being, um, I saw it online probably the first three or four months I got back into collecting. And uh, they wanted 40 odd dollars for it delivered within Australia. Uh, and I was so close to getting it because it was one of those ones that became out of reach simply because I stopped collecting just before this came out. Um, this is 1987 copyright 88 release, so it was probably three years after I stopped collecting originally. I stopped buying them as toys originally. Um, it's such a nice looking box though. I think, I think I'll keep it in the box for today. That's the Fuji Color Nissan 300ZX Turbo. Um, yeah, really quite happy with that. So, to my mind, that's well, it's a bit of a stretch to say that's half of what this box cost because I think $40 was way too high at the time, which is why I didn't buy it. Um, but so happy to have it in the collection today. So, was it worth it? 80 Australian, which is, well, you'll have to Google, 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 Google your um, local exchange rate to, to get what that is the equivalent of in your neck of the woods. But um, I'm happy. I got my, uh, my Fuji Nissen, so it uh, scratches yet another itch for my collection. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.